Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Windows users encounter when trying to run Spark. Our viewer is facing an error that says, was unexpected at this time when executing the Spark shell command. Let's break down the situation and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To fix the Spark Shell error on Windows, we first need to check our environment variables, ensure that the Spark and JDK paths are correctly set. Next, let's verify that the bin directory of Spark is included in the system path variable. This allows the command line to recognize the Spark shell command. Now, we need to ensure that the correct version of Java is being used. Spark requires a compatible version of Java, so check your Java installation. Finally, after making these changes, restart your command prompt and try running the Spark shell command again. If you still encounter issues, consider checking for any typos in your environment variable paths or reinstalling Spark. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the Spark shell issue on Windows, the user tried uninstalling previous Java versions and reinstalling the latest version in the default path, but it didn't work. They attempted to add double quotes to the Java home environment variable, yet the problem persisted. Finally, they reinstalled Java in a different directory, cjava, and it worked. They are unsure why the default path didn't work and welcome any explanations. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the error was unexpected at this time, in Spark Shell on Windows, it might be due to white spaces in your Spark or Java path. A simple fix is to replace program files with program one. This method worked for me. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To fix the Spark shell issue on Windows, you need to set the Java path in the Spark env.sh file located in the Spark conf directory. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.